Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now I've been in cybersecurity for more than 20 years now and I must have reviewed like thousands and thousands of resumes and one very unfortunate truth I want to let you know is most cybersecurity resumes do not make it past the first scan. You know the first time a recruiter or a CISO looks at your CV, there's a high chance your CV will not move towards the next stage and that is not because people are like they are not technical or they are not skilled it is because they fail to present their resume in a way that grabs the people's attention and it highlights their skills and i have been seeing this for like almost like 15 15 years now and even today when i am coaching people to get into cyber security i still see them making the same mistakes the same unfortunate mistakes that decreases their chances of moving to the next stage moving to the crucial stage of landing an interview where like they might land a job right so today i want to recap certain things i've already talked about and i want to add give you certain new tips also about your cyber security resume and especially at the end i'm going to give you one power tip which can really really help your cyber security resume to stand out and your portfolio to stand out so stay tuned until the end of the video if you're new to the channel my name is tamur Lal. I'm a senior security consultant with Amazon Web Services here in London and I've made this channel to give advice on like cyber security careers, AI and general cloud security also. So please do like and subscribe to this channel and let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I made a, I made a YouTube video like a few months back and like uh, this one, I'm going to link it below and in, in which I go into certain detail about certain very beginner level mistakes which people make. Uh, you do check that out. I'm going to recap what I talked about there also. But check this video out. I have no idea why I look so strange in this uh, video. But, but okay. But just a quick recap of what I've already talked about in this video. So this is like, let's take a look at this resume, right? This is a standard resume. I've seen it many times. Now, first mistake which people do is they'll just list their job description. You know, you can see this is like bullet point hell, right? By the time I reach the end, I have no idea what the first thing was because it's like death by bullets, you bullet after bullet after bullet and your job description, what you do, I can probably guess from your job title only. Okay, you don't need to copy paste your job description. What you do need to tell me is what is the impact you made in this like uh, position that you have. So instead of making this just one or two lines about your job description, the rest is just achievements. Tell me what you did. Tell me if you decreased like the uh, virus incidents or the malware incidents. Tell me if you found an issue which led to an improvement in the security posture. That is what people are looking at. And that is unfortunately a big mistake which I've seen people making that to, to this day, I still see resumes like this. So please focus on your achievements, not on your job description. Okay. The other one is this massive list of this certification dump, which I call it. Now, this person has done so much, but unfortunately it looks like this person is not focused at all. I have no idea what is focus. Is it GRC by auditing? Is it cloud security? Is it like hacking? You know, a lot of people, that, and I've talked about it many, many times, please put your skills above your certification, right? Do, do not do this certification dump. It just looks like you're doing certification after certification without actually building up your skills. So this is just like a few of the things which I still see people, a mistake people making. I'm going to link my old video. I want you to go over that and really uh, like watch it very carefully to understand what I'm talking about. The other one is a quick recap on LinkedIn. Now LinkedIn, a lot of people do not use this, the banner page. They just put some generic uh, like security picture or something like that. Why don't you, this is a massive amount of real estate. Use this to tell me what you are, what you do. Okay, please use this. The second is this use your headline use this again to put in your achievements this is a great way to put in your achievements here you know you can see like i'm a best-selling author 60k students at udemy i have a youtube channel all these things i've quickly put in here to help people know what i do and again the featured page now featured page i would recommend putting two here but most people do not use this featured section i put in look i put in my books here i put in people can contact me so these are the things i really want you to focus on most of these things i've covered in my older video which i'll link but please uh, do focus on these and now let's move on to the new things which I wanted to discuss okay so this is what I wanted to talk about why most cyber security resumes get rejected what are the mistakes so first of all the one page rule so if you're early on in your career you do not need a five page resume believe me uh, most recruiters who are looking for entry level positions they will not read past the first page if you're in your entry to mid career one page is more than enough you might be thinking how can I put everything that I've done in one page well Try to find out if you're spreading it out across five pages, believe me, nobody's going to look at it. 
if you're in a senior role like you have like 10 15 years of experience to three pages max uh, that, that's it we are living in an age of very very short attention spans you know this is the unfortunately because of tiktok and you know instagram and all that people are simply do not have that level of attention span anymore reduce the number of your like pages in your resume and focus on the key points okay and it also shows the clarity of thought if you might be thinking i can't show my value on one page that honestly if you can't show your value on one page you're going to struggle to do this in the job also in the interview where you have 15 30 minutes you will not be able to show your value there also focus on the key areas that you have to help improve your cv the second one is keyboard stuffing now i know the application tracking system ats it's very very favored now it's gone down in value actually over the years but still i've seen people uh, what they do is on their resume they are just stuffing these keywords you know cyber security 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 analyst you should put in keywords but if you're gonna just stuff it it makes you look desperate it does make you look that you're trying to like game the system right please study the job description use the proper keywords once or twice keep it natural make it do not make it look as if you've copy pasted it from chat gpt where you've just told it to stuff this keyword so in this one this is i've seen this you know these things cyber security profession skilled in cyber security operations cyber security tools cyber security frameworks okay okay i got it from the first time you're in cyber security so this is much better this shows what you actually achieved implemented in this based cyber security framework, improving audit score by 30 percent so this is what i was talking about earlier achievement this shows me what you this shows me what you are doing this shows me what you are achieving so please try to focus on this now the second is tailoring every resume now, this is a lot of people they don't like this if, if you are blasting the same cv to 50 jobs believe me it's going to look very generic now i understand when people say i do not have the time to customize my cv for every job and i totally agree but if you feel that the job is for example if you're applying for a cloud role then at least highlight your aws projects top and like right at the very top or if you're applying for a grc role lead with compliance and audit experience if you put the wrong experience at top or the wrong achievements uh, believe me your chances do go down it takes 10 minutes per application but it can improve your chances of landing interview five times more because people will say okay this guy seems to be the right fit for this position so please do tailor your resumes you don't have to do it for every single job i agree but where you feel that you can this job is aligning to your particular experience or you have an achievement for this job to so focus on that please try to tailor your resume for that particular thing the next one is the six second test this one actually it's similar to the one i already talked about where your cv should not be like uh, too long but uh, research it already shows that recruiters they spend six to seven seconds scanning a cv literally they get they quickly look at it they have been trained they have they have looked at thousands and thousands of cvs that's why it is so important to get that and i'm going to give you one tip at the very very end which can help put you above the others resumes in six seconds you can can someone see what role you're in what value you bring and one standout achievement this is what you want to focus on what role i'm doing what value i'm bringing and one standout achievement if the answer is no then your resume is failing this test so again the six second test i want you to keep that in mind and number five is linkedin activity does matter linkedin is honestly the first impression most people are getting of you and recruiters are checking your linkedin profile if they see that you have not posted in like five years or like one year your profile looks dead it looks like the guy is not doing anything it's unfortunate but it is what it is it's not going to not land you a job but it, it does increase your chances you don't need to be posting every day you don't you like you see those people copy pasting from chat gpt all the time right? don't have to do that but you know one update a week just start with one update a week one article post a quick insight commenting that is enough to show that you are active in the field i, I can help you with this i have a book on this a linkedin top voice like how to become a LinkedIn top voice you do not have to become a LinkedIn top voice but this book it has a lot of uh, good value about how you can like uh, succeed on LinkedIn you know I use the same tips I have the LinkedIn top voice when we used to have the uh, yellow badges I was in the top one percent in cyber security so you can use these to help improve your LinkedIn profile okay what is the next one proof of work beating more certification this is what I was talking about earlier when I said that uh, a lot of people they just stuff their cv with certification after certification please put your uh, portfolio above that you can may, maybe like a github repo a blog a youtube channel a medium whatever you've done okay whatever you have achieved 
please try or if you haven't done it make something make a simple github repo and put your projects there make some projects if you haven't done it and focus there okay and these portfolio pieces will show people that you're not just some guy who is passing certifications and you can actually use this uh, what do you call it? to show that you do know the work and this is where the game changer I wanted to talk about which is something called loom uh, if you're not familiar loom is a simple like SaaS based solution you can use to sh record a short video like five minutes it's very easy to do it gives you a public video like recording of your video and you can record yourself a one minute video recording yourself your focus area and a highlight achievement and you can add a QR code to your resume or LinkedIn profile linking to it this will drastically improve your uh, what do you call visibility in front of the recruiter because they will click on it or they will look at it on their mobile and what will happen is they will see how how good you communicate like what are your achievements and this will definitely prove like push your profile to the top of the list this is a simple thing which can drastically uh improve your chances this is loom they're not paying me for this just in case you're thinking i'm getting like some commission <laughs> no this is completely free you can sign in you can have a free uh what do you call you can sign it to the free tier and just record a short video and see it i use it all the time i do not pay them a single penny you can see how many videos i have and like i said record a short video make a qr code put it on top of your linkedin profile put it on your uh, resume and people are like i do usually recommend people put it next to their uh, profile page so there's a qr code right next to their profile a guy will click on it and they will see they will see how good you communicate what are your portfolio achievements and you know this is something which can drastically improve i don't know on the free tier if it's there but on the other tier they even send you an email when somebody watches this video so that will tell you when the recruiter is actually looking at your profile i would definitely definitely recommend you start doing this put it on your linkedin put it on your cv today okay so going back to what are our final thoughts like i said most people's resumes they fail before they even get read it's not because you're not competent or you don't have the skills but they haven't adapted to how drastically attention spans have fallen recruiters are getting thousands and thousands of resumes per job they do not have the time to look at each of them so every single thing matters here you have to make yourself stand out you don't become another resume in the stack which gets filtered out in five seconds so doing these things please follow what i'm telling you watch my older video and well, like i said your resume is your ticket to the interview that's why it's so important to make it count i hope you've gotten some value there i'm going to put the link into my older video my linkedin ebook i also have a course the cyber security career accelerator completely up to you if you want to buy it or not but i go into more detail on these tips so please Go ahead and try this out. Do like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.